Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is the ninth chapter of rigging in Maya. In this chapter, uh, we will discuss how to create those individual controllers that I have already created in the eighth chapter, and to make a connection or hierarchy uh, between between those controllers and uh, create the uh, no the workflow or the FK control flow uh, of this arm. Now, in the previous chapter or the eighth chapter, I showed you that how to create these controllers of uh, individual IK bones. Now, I showed only the uh, shoulder joint for the shoulder joint, and I have already created the elbow and the wrist. So, uh, the same way that I have created in the uh, the shoulder joint. So, if you have missed that uh, eighth chapter, please go through it before you. Uh, before you go through this this one so uh, so that it will be really i uh, you know uh, helpful to you to understand this okay now if i see the structures of this uh, hierarchy now right now if i move my controls you can see that a joint is not working properly because this uh, elbow joint is also connected with my orientation constraint to orientation constraint with this elbow uh, elbow control fk control so now I need to connect these uh, controllers also otherwise if, if you can see the, the the joints are not exactly working as I wanted so <clears throat> for creating that first of all I have to see what is my hierarchy condition is in right now if I go through it and you can have that this um, I have a shoulder group and under that shoulder group I have a shoulder control which is a direct parent child relationship through the translation uh, transformation and that shoulder control is actually controlling the shoulder joint through the orient constraint this 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 is also a child object kind of a child definitely not exactly but uh, you, this shoulder control is actually controlling the uh, the joint orientations so this is my uh, shoulder uh, group and another one is the elbow group and so on the wrist and everything so elbow group under that we have a elbow control and that elbow control is oriented orientation constrained by to the joint so this is the control this is the true different hierarchy that we have now we have to connect these two hierarchy now in in a very general notion you, uh, anyone can understand that uh, if i if i put this elbow group oops sorry if i put this elbow group to under the under this uh, you know this shoulder group it should work it should work isn't it so that whenever i am uh, uh, controlling the shoulder control it should work but it's it will not going to because you can see that the elbow group is going to the upstream of this shoulder control so whenever i am rotating my shoulder shoulder controller it won't affect the group Number one, so you have to understand this very, very precisely that I am not going to rotate the group. I am rotating through the control. I have my group in the up arrow. Pressing the up arrow, you can go to the group. So by default, when you are selecting the controller, you are not going to, to the group. You are not selecting the group. So if I'm making the elbow group under this uh, uh, shoulder group, it's not going to work single reason another one is very um, you know very simple that this group node have some garbage values okay now what happened if a parent node had some have some garbage values let's see now take a uh, take a uh, show uh, cylinder sorry and make it a some values over here and just now create a uh, box okay now right now this p cube is no polygon and cube don't have any kind of values and this uh, poly cylinder has some garbage values out there now if i select this poly cube and shift select this uh, poly cylinder and hit p immediately you can see this poly cube is actually become the child object of this uh, poly cylinder and the interesting thing is that poly cube has got some values very arbit values very garbage kind of values now what is actually i mean what how this can, kind of uh, values come up it is actually getting the feed from this uh, you know uh, this uh, parent object of of this particular uh, pq that i have already connected now 
it is getting the x or z or y value from the values of this particular uh, uh, polycylinder or the parent object. So right now, even if I have got my uh, polycube, uh, even even if I have my polycube as a zero 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 initially, the moment I connect with this parent, it also got that value. So in our case, if I put some elbow group under another group that shoulder group also have some garbage values that I have discussed about in the previous chapter for you know keeping this alignment that is minus 49.786 and the same thing happened over here also if I go to the group node you can see minus 29.777 and minus 49.786 so the same values actually the garbage kind of values that has been kept on the group node to maintaining the alignment of this gizmo that i've already discussed in the previous chapter so <clears throat> what we gonna do so we need to find something that is actually going to control uh, without being you know feed the values now what happened i have my shoulder control that i'm going to rotate my shoulder joint so Without, I mean, instead of connecting the groups, what if I connected with this shoulder control? Because I'm rotating this, not this one. So, shoulder, when I'm rotating the shoulder control, automatically the group has been feeded. And the shoulder control has a very specific base value that is 000. You can see. As my shoulder control and it has very zero 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 value so whenever I am parenting this group node with the just the control not the just the control not the uh, group node I can easily you know connecting the hierarchy of this shoulder and uh, uh, elbow so I have to make the group node to be the child of this shoulder control not the group okay so let's see let's do it now select the group node shift select the fk control right now if i hit p it's done so now what is happening is this absolutely seamless because this group node doesn't get any kind of extra feed that is actually effect from the uh, you know uh, the uh, uh, from the from the uh, uh, shoulder controllers. So sorry for my fumble. Uh, <clears throat> even if 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 it got some of the feeds from the rotational value or the positional value, it's already been kept on the group node. So you don't have to bother about your elbow controls. It's already been kept in the groups. That's why the groups are very handy while you are you know, creating these controllers. So whatever the garbage value is coming from the shoulder control or even upstreams, it has been kept on the group. So that when you are using the controller or rotating the controller, it still have the basic 0, 0, 0 values. That is the biggest plus point of this creating these groups. So the same way, it also going to control the uh, wrist one so I can create that select the wrist group control group and shift select the elbow joint control and hit P in this way what we have done is actually created a seamless hierarchy of these FK joints same way I can I will I will show you to how to you know uh, connect this uh, uh, same same way we're going to connect the sh uh, the shoulder ones sorry the clavicle ones in in future chapters and <clears throat> that will be the it is absolutely in the same way okay now uh, so I hope you uh, understand this this is the way that I have uh, created this hierarchy and uh, I'm just uh, going to end this chapter over here and Please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page to stay updated from our, for our future updates. And thank you very much.